excuse my voice, my son Mojo started school, so obviously I'm gonna be sick all year, so that's pretty awesome. Um, but I wanted to do a super educational, hopefully, video today on how to use the hair dryer for a bloom, because it's actually really, I mean, every step of the bloom is pretty difficult, but the hair dryer seems to be really hard to master especially with one particular hair dryer, which I discovered last summer, which is the Yihu, Y-I-H-O-O. And I found it and it looked really cool because, oh, there's sneakers. Um, there's no mouth to it. It's just like a circle and it blows from here. Now people have different opinions about it. Some people think it blows too hard, which I don't really see. Some people think it doesn't blow hard enough, which I could see if your paints are too thick. And also because there is no, it does come with the, the little attachment, which I don't use, but because there's no funnel, it's kind of, uh, you have to blow it out a little differently. So I'm going to show you the Yihu. Yihu, yeah. You can get it at fluidarts.co by the way. Next, I'm going to show you just my regular hair dryer that I use all the time, as you can tell. This is the Baby Bliss. The reason I like it is because actually the mouth is smaller than a regular hair dryer. Um, I forgot the, the measurements, but it's been working great for me. Um, but I also wanted to see if it really matters what you're using because Maybe, you know, when I first started out, I was always looking and saying, okay, like what's the best hair dryer? Because uh, it must be the hair dryer that does it. So I just went to the store and I got this random, I haven't even opened. Um, this is a Conair 1875 Watts. Um, and I just wanted to see if I used, picked up a random hair dryer, what would happen? And if it really matters what kind of hair dryer you're using or if it's your technique that matters. So that should be a fun experiment. Now in terms of colors, I'm just gonna use some colors I've already had mixed up. A few videos ago, I show you how to how I mix my pigments and my tubes and I'm gonna be using some of those colors today. So I'm gonna be using Diorite Yellow by Golden. I'm gonna be using TLP Enchantment. I, I hope you guys can see this color. I love this color, it's like a lilac-y pinky color. That's nice. Um, this is a custom one I made. I believe it was teal with some white in it to make a kind of like, I call it like a Martha Stewart green. Uh, it's kind of like a minty green. Uh, and then I'll be using TLP Twinkle, which is a violet interference, if you can see. And then I made this custom purple. How did I make, oh. I think this purple, I put quinacridone nickel as a gold with a bit of alizarin crimson and a bit of diox purple. Uh, and that's how I made this one. I'll be using white cell activator today. Use the Shelly Art recipe, which is Australian Floetrol. If you wanna take the class and learn how to do all these amazing things, I have a discount code in my description. Um, so I think I'll be using those colors. Again, I'm not really, I don't really care if I make pretty blooms today. Uh, it's more about, I mean, I hope I do, but it's really more about how to use the hair dryers. So I will take you over to the spin table and I'll see you in a sec. Okay, I have my Glidden Essentials eggshell down and I'm going to lay my colors. So I'm starting with the Yeho and I'll show you in a minute, but with the Yeho, you because there's no tube, I don't know what to call it, um, you want to blow out kind of down first and then blow your petals out. Uh, here's the enchantment. Here is that teal that I did. Oops, I don't want to do too much because that's opaque. This is my twilight and I'll top it with that custom purple. Now, I, by the way, I totally gave you the wrong ingredients of how I made this because I made another red and that's how I made the red. This is phthalo blue with a lizard crimson. So just in case you wanted to make it yourself if it looks nice. Oh, before I put the cell activator, so I'm going to put it 
on the meat, there's two settings. They're both the same heat, and this isn't really that hot, so it doesn't matter, but I always put it on the middle setting. And you can see it's pretty powerful. So I don't necessarily wanna to go too close to push up all my paints. So let's get that cell activator down and see what happens. Now you might have to go in and fix a few areas. that it missed. Now I think I probably could have pushed further, but I was scared because I didn't want the pillow paint to come up. So at this point, normally what I would do is, because a lot of these edges are gonna come off anyways, but I might take my skewer in case some of the edges don't come off and we don't want ugly edges. Uh, if I could find a skewer, oh, there we go. So just in case, let's just see what would happen, how I would kind of fix this. And I would like do little designs. Now I don't want to touch the um, bottom of the wood. You just want to kind of drag the paint. Now I'm not the best modifier. There's some really great modifiers out there. I kind of just do my best. <laughs> but okay so let me spin this out now it's not really centered but i'll start spinning anyways So you can see it's kind of cute. Definitely moves my paints. So you can see even if you have thicker paints than mine, it would still blow it out because it's pretty powerful. So this is kind of cute, if you ask me. Um, oh, you can get the this Yehu at fluidart.co. I don't know if I told you that. All right, and I'll keep tilting until there's no paint left in the middle so I can do one more spin. I like this edge right there. So remember that Yeeho is about being flat and pushing out. Okay, all right, it's cute. I'll show you the end result soon, but you kind of get the idea about how to use it. So let me move this and then we'll get to, why don't we use the new one, the Conair that I just got and see how that works. I'll be right back. Okay, so I grabbed the Conair and I just realized there's actually no cool setting on this, which isn't ideal, but that's okay because this is just an experiment. So there's a low, which I think I will use, and the, oops, and the high, which I will not. So it's pretty hot. So just to warn you, uh, but again, this is just to see if I can use a regular old hair dryer in a pinch or if it really matters what brand you buy. So I'm gonna do the same thing again. Start with the yellow. I'm curious actually. Enchantment. Teal. Twinkle. Should put a little more, why not? We like the sparklies. And then the purple. Oh guys, oopsie, what if this is a disaster? I don't know. Okay. Don't judge. So when I'm using these types of hair dryers, by the way, I do it the same way where I kind of blow it out just like I blow up my bloom where I would start down 
and start moving the petals out. I think that's the motion that I use the most for anything. But we'll see with this guy, right? Okay. Oh, all right, let's go high. Nope, too high, too low. Okay, oops, oh God, stop. Okay, you can see I had a bit of a problem. which was the low was not pushing my paints and my paints aren't even that thick and the high was really blowing stuff everywhere. So this is the look that you get if your blower is too high and it just kind of decimates your paints. So you could see I was going between the low and then the high, which went crazy. I'm wondering if I just went in with the high right away instead of doing my petals and just like going bloop, 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 uh, if that would work better. Why don't I just try that for funsy, right? Because obviously, I mean, it has its own appeal, I suppose, but definitely not what we're looking for. So I'm just gonna put a little more pillow paint because we're just like practicing now. And maybe it does have to do with having a specific hair dryer, right? So this one, I'm gonna go high and blow it down super fast if I can, and that's it, all right? Kind of looks like very Dutch pory, which I don't mind, but not really the bloom look we're going for, right? And these are the things you have to do to figure it out, right? There's a lot of experimentation. Okay, Mo's home from school because he has a cold, as we all do. So I'm just wondering how long I'm gonna be allowed to be down here. All right. All right, so I'm gonna go high and blow it, okay? Let's see. High and blow. Here we go. Oh God. <laughs> Okay, this guy's like a little insane. So same thing happened. So I actually wouldn't recommend this crazy hair dryer, by the way, um, which is good to know, isn't it? So, and watch this happen with like the one that I use all the time. Um, but there you go. So this is kind of gross. So we don't even need to keep this, right? Well, you know what? Why don't I just waste some paint and spin it out anyways? Um, so we can at least see the final product and then I will finish with my hair dryer. How would it? Okay, technically I might skewer some things, but I don't mind these petals without cell activator, but whatever, we're not looking for a masterpiece here. Are we? Now I'm also wondering if thicker paints again would work better um, cause not so much pillow paint would come up, you know, let's just spin her out, put her out of her misery. Um, I mean, listen, it's not, it's kind of interesting except for this blank space here. Let's see if I can get some of that side off without hitting everything. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I kind of had a feeling that was gonna happen. This happens to me once I start getting paint on the bottom of my spinner, it gets extra slippery. I mean, listen, is this horrible? No, I don't super mind it, but it was more stressful for me than it should be. But I guess it's doable, right? I mean, definitely a different look. I'll save it for the ending anyways. 
Um, all right, so let me put move this and then we'll get back to my hair dryer. Okay, so time for my baby bliss, which has a cool shot. It has heat, this is low heat, high heat, medium speed, high speed. Now, I wanna tell you, regardless of whatever happens here, on my bigger blooms, this is what I use, and this is what works for me. I've also used the Yeeho on the bigger blooms, so I know that they work. I just don't know if on such a small surface how it will do, just to warn you. But proof is in the pudding, because that's what I use. <laughs> okay, so oh, hey, let me do this. And I'll do this again. Hope we don't get bored of this color combo. All right. Enchantment. Minty Mint. Twinkle. Oops, there was a little bloop that fell in there. Hmm. Let's see, of course I'm not gonna be able to get it. But wait, positive thinking. I did get it, look at that. Okay. And the purple. All right, fingers crossed guys. Right. So I do press my cool shot while I'm doing it for bigger ones, especially because, but we'll see. All right, we're going on low. All right, definitely. It blew out nicely, although, I mean, I didn't do the greatest blowout job, but. But you can see it was easy to blow out. I did get, um, it does look similar to the Yeho. Um, could be a little farther. I mean, I was about, okay. I was about to say my blow J wasn't great, but I can't say that. Um, but I am liking the petals and I'm liking the ends. And I did get the cell activator further. Um, I think is in the Yeho, but both pretty cute. I will do some modifying because why not, right? So basically, um, you can see that I we're guessing that the type of hair dryer you use does matter, doesn't it? I was kind of hoping that it wouldn't matter, to be honest, to make everyone's life easier. Um, I mean, and again, I just randomly grabbed that Conair without doing any research whatsoever. So I'm pretty sure the um, if you get one that maybe isn't, that one was like either too strong or too weak. So if there was one that was kind of in the middle, um, that'd be helpful. All right, All right. Get rid of this thing here. All right, let's spin her out. Tilt it a bit. So, I mean, I hope this was helpful. Um, I certainly learned a lot. And like I said, for bigger pieces, the hair dryer um, is really helpful. Um, I mean, on smaller pieces too, if, if you don't blow. Although, I do have a blow video. Maybe it was my last video or two videos ago. This is cute, if I do say so myself. I wish I didn't have to spin it too much. But I kind of like the negative space. Let's see. How much? Okay, we got a little paint left, but not too much. And uh, so there she is, I'll do a close up. What do you guys think? Which one did you like the best? Which, uh, was it the Yeho, the Crazy Connie? I'm gonna call her the Crazy Connie. 
Sorry, any Connies that are watching. Fine, I'll call it the Crazy Con Air so no one gets upset. Or my Baby Bliss. Yeah, she's cute. We like her. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions. Oops. Don't forget my other videos of how I mix my pouring medium and my blow video. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Bye.